Hey everybody, Andrew Hunter here from the Creative Podcast. I just want to give you guys a quick little video about my stick bag that I got recently. I've had a few, almost uh, probably three, four weeks of, of use out of it, and I quite like it. It's the actually the SKB uh, SB300 uh, Deluxe Stick Bag. It's pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to give you guys an overview of what it looks like and give you guys kind of an idea of exactly what I have inside of it. So it's it's kind of be kind of an overview of the stick bag, but also what's inside my stick bag. So it's kind of like one of those stick bag, what am I carrying type videos. So let me get the camera set up and we'll look at that. All right, so this is my stick bag. Uh, as I mentioned, it is the SKB. Yeah, let me get a little bit better view of it. It's a really nice large stick bag. It's almost like a briefcase. It has a uh, nice little handle there. Some nice little straps there. It also has a huge huge pocket that'll fit an iPad or music or books or anything like that. But on the inside, it's got plenty of room for anything you could ever want to have in your stick bag. So uh, on, I've actually kind of set it up the stick bag to kind of have like more of the specialty type brushes. So uh, mallets, uh, some roots, brushes, uh, timpani mallets that I sometimes use on, on floor toms for timpani type sounds. And then I also, then I have some more lighter range sticks, like it's an a, uh, Vicfirth AJ6. It's kind of a, a very light jazz brush, or jazz stick, I can't talk today. Uh, but it's a very, very light touch stick, so it's a very, very cool, it's a little tiny little stick. Compared to a 5A, it's a huge, huge difference. So it's got a very, very long uh, taper and very, very short shoulder here. So very, very cool stick, uh, very, very light touch. Uh, but this this whole section of sticks right here are all more lighter touch. I got a couple Peter Erskine sticks in here. Here's a Peter Erskine ride stick. So it's just a very, very, uh, again, another light touch stick. I then go into uh, more, I, I usually play 5As, uh, just American, or uh, American Classic Vic for 5As. Uh, but I also do have, do have a pair of Metal In American Classic Vic for Sticks. Uh, I've had these for quite a while. I just use them really for practice because they're huge. Uh, and I'm just not a, I'm not a huge fan of them for drum set. I just, I'm not a very heavy player. Uh, but I have them there for practice, things like that. Uh, I have some, I have some new uh, wood tip 5As. Again, oh, sorry. The American Classic 5As. Hope you can see it there. Uh, these are all chewed up. I have some new ones on the way. I actually just bought a couple of uh, new pairs. So I have those on the way. Uh, I just recently picked up a pair of the uh, Buddy Rich Vicfra sticks. Very cool sticks there. Uh, it's kind of a 5A. It's got a little bit of a different uh, tip to it, which I think is going to help kind of give me some more power with the, with the sticks. Uh, then what I've been playing mostly, at least recently, has been the Vic Firth uh, 5ANs, the nylon tips. I've been playing those a lot because uh, where I've been playing doesn't really mic the cymbals very much, so it kind of gives the uh, cymbals a little bit more uh, punch and a little bit more definition. Um, moving down in the back, because the, the cool thing about this, I don't know if you've noticed, but it actually has, I, I've only used one set of the pockets really for the sticks. Uh, well, I'll take that back, the, the brushes are down in a little bit lower. But there's actually one, two, three, pockets you can actually put sticks in so I can layer this bag with sticks and all that which is cool but this is just kind of keeps it all organized and neat for me uh, but down in the, like the next layer of pockets I have a pair of brushes of course like I said and I don't know if you've noticed but everything in this stick bag this, these are getting all messed up either way uh, but everything in this stick bag are uh, Vic Firth products I have only played Vic Firth products for probably 10 years and I I would only ever play Vic Firth products they're just some of the best products out there but we do also have in here, uh, I have a kind of a humongous uh, drum tuner or drum key. Uh, it actually comes out, if I wanted to put this into a drill, I could do that. Seems a little like overkill. Uh, but it's actually a ratcheted key. So I actually uh, ratchet it. It's made more for uh, like higher tension drums, uh, but it also makes changing heads very, very easy and quick. But I just like this key a lot, have it in there. Uh, moving across the bag, I have a couple things on this little uh, carabiner. I have just a normal, uh, smaller, you know, standard uh, drum key. But I also on this 
carabiner. I have this like little Figaro bracelet thing on a uh, keychain ring. You can just place this right over a symbol and turn any symbol into a uh, riveted symbol or a sizzle symbol, which is pretty nice actually. Can't get this on there. There we go. I keep those in there just for whatever I need. Uh, down here, I'm not gonna take it out right now, but I have like a uh, like a T-bar drum drum key as well. I don't use it very often, but it's there just for as a backup. Uh, here in these pockets, I got this from Loot Crate. It is a Street Fighter headband. Really cool. Have that in there. Uh, so I'll wear that probably at some point. And I also keep a towel in here. It's very, very important to have a towel in your stick bag. Uh, you sweat a lot when you play drums. So if you don't want to be a sweaty mess, you have a towel. Uh, that's all for that section. Uh, down here, oh, you can't see it in the video. But down here, I keep a stick of gum, or a pack of gum. Uh, Big Red's my favorite. I also have a pair of just regular Apple earbuds. Uh, they're not the greatest. I actually have a pair of inner monitors that I can pop in my bag at any time I need them, uh, but I haven't had a need for them as of right now. Uh, so yeah, if I go somewhere that actually has inner monitor capabilities, I'll take those. But I have my just regular earbuds. I also have some business cards in here, so that's always important I keep in your bag. I also have some earplugs. Some more like reusable type earplugs. Uh, they're from Vader actually, uh, but those are available uh, you, everybody, a lot of people have these, a lot of companies have these out, uh, but they're just in a nice little carrying case. Have those available, so you can take take a peek at those. Uh, we're going to talk about the drum key. I also keep a couple of cymbal sleeve, placement cymbal sleeves, really important. If you ever go somewhere they don't have a cymbal sleeve, you have an extra. Uh, I'm not going to take this out right this second, but I also keep in here a uh, iPhone plug. iPhone, uh power brick and a USB cable. So it's very important to have those because you'll get somewhere and run out of power. That's never good. Uh, but that's everything that's in my stick bag right now. Uh, I'm gonna add a few more 5As to this bag. I have a couple on order that I just brought. Uh, but yeah, that's the entire stick bag. And of course, like I said, it's really, it's actually a pretty large stick bag. Uh, the one I was using before was just a standard Vic Firth one. Uh, but that's kind of a, an overview of exactly what I keep in my stick bag. Uh, I try to keep a little bit of variation and variety of what I have in there. Uh, so if you guys have any questions about that, please let me know. Uh, other than that, I will talk to you guys soon.